Page 24, we start with chord diagrams. Many of you have probably been exposed to these chord diagrams. The lines going down are the strings. The horizontal lines represent the frets. And the dots show where your fingers should be placed. Uh, let's see, zero means that the strings are open, and X means that you don't play that string or the string is muted. We have uh, four chords here, actually five chords with the one on top. We have a C major chord, C7, F major, F minor, and a G7. All these chords you have already read in the previous pages in one form or another. The F minor you had in the first solo where you go, you had part of that. Here's a fuller chord of F minor. Now the hard thing with F minor and F major is flattening that first finger. Usually I don't flatten the first finger flat straight on. What I do is I, it's a little on the left side of the finger. So I, it's not, but it's like this. F minor, instead of straight. I would have, with my hand size, I would have problems reaching. So I, you notice? Exercise one uses these chords, and it's very important to the use the ones that are stated in the chord symbols. You may already know an, a different C or a different C7, but we just want you to add these to your repertoire of chords so that you have choices. Again, the, uh, the little commas are pause mocking, so you have some type of, of a rhythm. Long, short, long, short. Exercise one. One, two, three, four. Notice the rest on beat four and that I stopped it. And notice that I did not use breaststrokes. I did not go. These are rhythm chords, so you can use, you just flick your wrist. Look at my right hand. I'm just flicking my wrist. I'm not moving my arm up and down. I'm just. Exercise two, you have more chords. A minor, D minor, E7. Notice that the D minor, the note D with your four, is played with your fourth finger, not your third. That's because most often that in this exercise you go to E7, from the D minor, and you don't have to move that fourth finger to play the D of the E7. So this goes like this. Exercise two, one, two, three, four. Keep that fourth finger down. Again, one, two, three, four. Exercise three uses all these forms. One, two, three, four. F, F minor. 
minor. Rest. Notice that when I play F major to F minor, I really don't move my third and fourth fingers off. And I keep my third finger down when I go to C. And then when I play A minor. All these chord forms should be memorized so that you can play these chords when looking at a sheet of music that has chord symbols on it.